hello everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be setting up my october budget and like always i'll be doing that using my bullet journal um, as you guys can see here i have my october uh, front page ready to go so this is what i decided to go with as you can see i match my nails to go with the color of the month but I, first if you are a returning subscriber welcome if you are a new subscriber welcome and if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my videos. We are so close to reaching 200 subscribers, which I know it's not much for a lot of people, but for me, it's a huge milestone. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that so you can help me reach that goal. And yeah, so let's continue on with our setup. So let's go to the next pages over here. So this is my calendar spread. And then on the next page, this is where my monthly budget is going to be. So I think I will set up my monthly budget first and then we'll come back to do the calendar. Now on the calendar, this is where I like to write all my bills and put all the paydays. So we'll do that last. So here is where I like to put my monthly budget. And like last month, I decided to go with stickers. So again, I made stickers of my own and this is what I came up with. Um, pumpkins for the month of October I decided to make myself some spend no spend stickers um, you know I'm just trying it out so hopefully by mid-October you guys will see stickers for sale in my Etsy shop hopefully let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that will happen so again these are the stickers that I will be using for the month of October okay so let's go on and set up my monthly budget and I will be getting washy here so pumpkins I love pumpkins so let's lay it down here okay pretty I like it Let's see what other oh income it's this other one October October budget Okay so there you go I love it I don't know if you guys can tell but that is just so pretty I think it's so nice Okay there it is and you know I still have some things that I need to work on um but I think I kind of, kind of <laughs> got the hang of, you know, making the stickers. It is kind of hard. It's not easy work. Let me tell you that. Um, but, um, you know, I'm getting the hang of it. We will see. So there's the income. And then we will put the total. So one, two, three, four. And go here. And let me tell you guys that this is removable paper. So I did end up uh, purchasing removable paper. As you guys can see. Right? So I'm really happy about that. So let's continue. Okay. There you go. I think that's looking pretty nice. I guess we'll start at the bottom now. And then we'll do this. This is the total for my cash envelopes that I have not been using cash envelopes. I've been using card um, or cashless. I've been on the cashless method and I, you know, it's been going okay. All right, but uh, we will see. We will see how this month goes. Okay, one, two, three, four. We will see how this month goes, and depending on how we do this month, we will, you know, decide what to do for next month. Oops, I thought you guys were in frame. There you go. Okay, and then the total. 
king. There. There you go. So that is how my October budget is looking like. I really like it. I think it's really cute. So let's go and do our lines. Go ahead and do our lines here. This month, my lines or the the boxes at the bottom came out a little better than last month. Last month were like a little bit more than a little bit off. So I think I'm doing better at making stickers. I am kind of getting the hang of them. So we will see if I can accomplish my goal by the you know mid October. We will be selling stickers in my Etsy shop. So hopefully. So this is my October budget. Let's go ahead and write out our expenses here. And we have electricity. And for that one, I am budgeting $100. Then I have Hulu. And for that one, I am budgeting $10. My um, promotion that I had for $3 in some sense um, ended in September and then I have my internet and for that one I am budgeting $45 that this one is like a fixed expense and mostly mostly all of my expenses are um, fixed expenses it's just that I can't you know separate the fixed and the variable expenses uh, because you know my bullet journal is not that big so hopefully we I will try that layout next year with my new planner we will see but for right now this is how I like to have them and so after internet I have phones and for this one I am budgeting 380 Then I have Wells Fargo. And for this one, I am budgeting 102. Again, this one is a fixed expense. I, I just like to round it up. So then I have Cabela's. And for this one, I am budgeting $20. And then I have the Costco card that from now on i'm just gonna put city card i know is the costco card i just would put costco card because it would make me it would remind me of what card i was talking about for this one i am budgeting 100 dollars. i also have fubo tb and if it wasn't for soccer um we wouldn't even have this um app we wouldn't even be paying for this app. We are budgeting $60. And then I have ice storage. And for that one, I am budgeting $10. And then I have the Amazon card, which it's like the credit card from Amazon. I just like to put the Amazon card because it's for it's the only thing that I use it for for Amazon and on that one I am budgeting I think it's 46 46 dollars and then I have Netflix and on that one I am budgeting 18 dollars and then I have my truck payment. So and that one I am budgeting. It's a fixed spend, but I just like to round it up to like a 
I just like to round it up. So it's 360 and then I have my mortgage. And then I have my donation that I give every month. And that one is $15. And then I have sinking funds. And unbudgeted. Okay. And for my sinking funds, I am budgeting $500. I will not be able to fund all my sinking funds this month. So that's a bummer, but it's, it's okay. No worries. Okay. And then for unbudgeted, I don't budget anything. So there's that. And then down here, I have my cash envelopes and I have groceries for groceries I budget $700 and then I have gas and for gas I budget 350 then I have household and for that one I budget 200 Then I have eating out, and that one uh, gets $200 as well. And then I have allowance for myself and allowance for my husband. And for myself, I usually give myself $50. I don't need more than that unless I go crazy and <laughs> I want to spend it. But if that doesn't happen, then I save it for next month. And then my husband, I am budgeting for him $100. So this is what how my budget is looking like. Let me write down here uh, where the income is. The pay dates, which is... 10 to 10 9 10 16 and oh my 10 23 and I forgot that October has five paydays so this is a good example of me showing you guys that my stickers are removable and that I can, you know, if I made a mistake like right now, I can take them off and place them where I want them to be. And problem solved. There you go. Let me get my ruler. Where did I leave my ruler? Okay. Um, and this one. Okay. And then October 30th. So there you go. Okay. So that is how my budget is looking like. I think it looks really cute. I really love the the washi over here, the pumpkins. I really, I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the calendar. And here's where I like to write out my paydays or lay out my bills and paydays. So we will do that again using my stickers. Okay, and for this one, I made this October budget. Of course, I think it should have been bigger. I just didn't measure it right. I think I would have, I should have put it bigger, but I didn't. It's okay, no problem. 
so we'll just put this on top There you go, and then the 2020 right there. Okay, I also made the days of the week. I think I was, I'm becoming too lazy to write them out. <laughs> so there, oops, that's Sunday. No, that's not Monday. Okay, so then we have Monday. Monday, let's get Sunday, and a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, oops, <laughs> I skipped today. What is wrong with me? I am really off today. I skipped Thursday. That is not good. Okay, so we'll put Friday over here. Thursday. And Saturday, of course. There you go. I think that looks really cute. Let me know what you guys think. I think that looks cute. So there you go. So now I'm going to uh, put my paydays. And so my husband gets paid on a Friday. And I think I only made two, four. Again, I did not remember that October has an extra payday. Okay. And then this one right here. But fortunately, I have some stickers that I've been working on. Like I said, I've been working on some stickers. And of course, there are some that, you know, I did not like how they came out. But, you know, I can't throw them away because they, they are kind of useful. So I, I, guess, I'll, I guess I'll use it for this week. And it's this kind of sticker. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then I am going to put cars. So I have my truck payment here. I'll just put it here. Then I have TV. So for TV, I have Fubo TV. I have Netflix and Hulu. And one more for Netflix, which I'll put it here. Okay, and then I have credit card payment. So, this one here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I have Wells Fargo. And then I have my Amazon payment here. And these two right here. Okay. And last but not least, mortgage. So let me see, okay, the mortgage, little house. I will put that one, nope, I put it here. There you go. That is it. That is how I set up my October calendar with all my bills. Let me zoom you guys a little bit so you guys can see. The stickers here are a little dark. They came out a little dark, but I think I like them. I actually like the little checkbox that it's here. That way I know if I paid it, I'll check it off. I also check it off on the other side, but you know, 
it never hurts to have two places to check it off so this is my calendar and this is my October budget I think it, come, it came out really cute I really like it so there is that oh I forgot to do the total for this one let me see that gives me a total of sixteen hundred dollars for cash envelopes so there's that and yeah so again i'll show you guys the stickers now these stickers are going to be for the weekly check-ins which as you guys can see it's going to be on this page right here and then i have this is where my paydays um the paychecks are going to be and then i have you guys can see that one goes there then i have the variable income i did not make a sticker for that one um, i'll just write it out i'll just write it in and then i have my debt tracker and my sinking funds okay and my notes pages which for that one i made that little sticker okay so i'll show you guys in a different video how i set up my paycheck uh, page my variable income and my notes pages i'll just probably do that once i set up um, my sinking funds we'll do that yeah we'll do that okay so with that being said that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.